What's up, gang? Got some big things going on with this rat rod of my dad's. Painted it flat black and actually built a bed on it. Cut down those bed rails. Laid some oak wood in there. This is actually oak wood. It's probably uh, probably 1930s, 1940s. It's a building that was torn down locally here. We got some sheet metal and got it bent. And then I welded this tube on here for him. He ground down the welds. Kind of interesting now. Had a notch out here for the exhaust pipe that comes up. Looks like a different truck. Of course, the wheels are off of it. Got it up on a hillbilly jack there. It looks like a different truck being black. And here's there's here's the front wheels is gonna go on it. That white wall there is uh is paint. It's an actual white wall paint. Instead of buying white wall tires, there's thirty dollars for paint to put them white walls on there. And it's actually pretty durable. It uh paint thinner doesn't even touch it. Paint there when taking off the brush. So it looks pretty cool. So here's the rear ones he's doing now. You can still see. He had to grind all the letters off the sides of it with a sanding disc. And once a, once there's enough coats on there, it'll be pretty cool. They look pretty good. They probably need another coat. But very interesting. It's black. I like it. The bed looks really good. I still think he needs to stick a trailer fender or something on the back or the back tire. It's pretty cool. I like it. Black looks a lot better than the, that, uh, primer red did. Anyhow, that's what I've been up to. Oh, wait a minute. I'll show you one thing. Got my, got my regulator, fuel pressure regulator and gauge. Still need to get it hooked up. Just the floats in the carburetor. Both of the floats uh, were too high. And um, I about caught it on fire. I grounded one of the power wires under the uh, under by the engine bay, and it fried a one of the relay harnesses under the dash and smoked everything out. And I caught it just in time before it caught fire. So that's that was pretty scary. So I fixed that, fixed the wiring, and. Um, Put a couple more fuses in certain places and uh, fix the floats. And then I've been waiting on that regulator, which just came in the other day, and haven't had time to deal with it. Working on this truck and working on my car, so that's what I've been up to. But anywho, I'll keep you guys updated. Thanks.